I'm Pepper Dune and I'm skipper of this very cool boat behind me called Earth Race. A short time ago we set a new record for a power boat to circle the globe and we ran the boat on 100% biodiesel made from waste cooking oils and we also ran the project as carbon neutral so we, we calculated our CO2 emissions from uh, airfares that my ground crew had, any travel we did, biodiesel and other things and purchased carbon credits to balance those. And it's been a long, hard journey and fantastic to have the record, finally. The first half of the record attempt was actually relatively easy. Uh, we had a small problem on the engines on the first leg, but it didn't really cost us any time. Uh, on the second leg, we had a fuel tank rupture and uh, had biodiesel sort of starting to roll all through the sleeping quarters, but managed to sort that out. Puerto Rico, the fuel wasn't ready for us, lost a little bit of time there. Uh, and then Panama, there was a, an unofficial strike on, it's called a work to rule. Um, and so the pilots were basically doing only the very minimum that's required of them. And that cost us three days. And then we had a, a clean run up the coast of Mexico, up to America. Across to Hawaii, no dramas really. And then between Hawaii and Marshall Islands, we had a high pressure fuel line rupture and we finished that leg on one engine. And then the next leg to Palau was, was pretty seamless, but on leaving Palau, we had a bit of crap in the water and it caused a huge amount of damage. And when it first happened, I actually thought the record attempt was over. Um, we had a, a smashed P-bracket, a bent drive shaft, damaged rudder, uh, damage along the bow, and there was no way we could get the repairs done in Palau. And so we limped on one engine all the way from Palau to Singapore. And when we got to Singapore, nothing was ready. We had no drive shaft sorted, no boat yard to take us. But quite miraculously, over the following three and a half days, everything fell into place for us. And it was a boat yard who had looked at what we had to do, and they said we needed three weeks to get it done. And we finished it in three and a half days. And it was a small miracle that, uh, that happened in Singapore. For some reason, everything we touched just seemed to work. And so I got the boat um, back in the water. Now, that, now it's starting to become hard though. The first half of the race, we'd had a few problems but nothing major, but the second half of the race was, was quite different. On the leg between Singapore and India, we got caught in the monsoon. The waves aren't huge, but they're quite awkward, very close together, and it just gradually grinds your crew down, and, and some more than others. And so we had that all the way to India, and I expected the monsoon, once we left India, I expected to be out of it, but it stayed with us virtually all the way to Oman. So in the end, I think we had seven to eight days of monsoon. It was a pretty hard period, and uh, it was a very tough part of the voyage. But from there, it started to look like the home run a little bit. Um, we had a relatively clean run from there up to the Suez Canal. Lost a little bit of time in the canal when they made us wait overnight halfway through. And then it was just a clean run back to Segunto. So we beat the old record by just on two weeks. And it feels like a monkey is off my back now, having finally done the record. Good on UIM for introducing this award for the environment. One of the things as boaties, we get to, to see and enjoy the best environments that this globe has to offer. And yet a lot of boaties care nothing about it and do nothing to help preserve it. Uh, and so hopefully this award will make a few more boaties uh, sit up and think about the anti-foul they have on their boat, the engines they run, the fuel they use, the recycling they do, all of these things that have an impact on, on the environment because we do need to start looking after this planet. It's funny looking back on Earth Race, what an amazing adventure it was. And it was this collective of people who just made stuff happen. And what a talented team we were, you know? I've said this many times, and I'll say it again. I was the lucky guy in the middle. You know, I had an idea at the start, but it was 
was you people that came in and, and made it all happen and I was truly blessed to have such a talented team um, on that project. But anyway team, miss you all deeply, um, been blessed to know you and I'm sure we will meet up again. Maybe in 10 years we should have the Earth Race reunion somewhere and uh, have one more great piss up. So, kia kaha, kia taua, be strong and be a warrior. Look forward to seeing your amazing people soon. Take care.